guess we can start to vlog off with the course walk. So it starts down there, comes up here. We got this loop-de-loop, -loop, comes around here. And you can see right there, it says one and two. So you come, you'll go through this loop-de-loop, -loop, I guess twice. So the first lap you go through this way and you wind up coming back up the way you came from the start. Go around the loop again. And then you go through two and exit. I do believe this here pothole is what made me DB'd last time. So definitely when we're coming around this, we shouldn't be anywhere near. You know, we should be on the inside, but that's what took me out last time. All right, guys, quick clip before we start. This is uh, my run group. We're up first for the day. Really be testing out the, the new rear end, the sweet MR2 and this Celica from last time. RS, we got Rick over here in the all track. I sold him the wheels off my S3. There's daily wheels. He's got some, some track wheels now. The car looks real good. I'm excited to see how that does. All types of things out here. 36, C5. This thing's awesome. Go pass the camera off to Kaylin. Have her get some clips. Rick back out here in that all track. are turned off screens off first couple cars are heading out and I'm ready to go um, course seems pretty simple um, I studied they put up a, a YouTube video of it last night so I studied that a bit and they kind of outline the course with chalk so it's, it's hard to get lost there's a couple tricky corners you got to line up of course you know that's that's autocross for you it's a good couple of them it's gonna be hard to line up but we'll see really we're here to test the rear end make sure all the settings feel good the bump steer is corrected you know if we got to move um, any of the eccentric washers up or down to adjust toe for bump steer and shit like that but for the alignment we wind up we wound up with negative 2.2 on one side negative 2.4 on the other up front uh, once I get the new subframe it'll center that up we'll be at a static negative uh, 2.3 once the subframe center and uh, and at zero toe in the back, negative 2.1 in the rears with zero toe back there as well. This is what Kyle uh, recommended, so I'm gonna see how his alignment goes. Uh, if I don't like it, I might add a little bit of toe out in the rear. We'll see. We're just messing around with the street and stuff. Car felt great with what it is, so. Whew, I'm nervous. I don't like being in the first run group. I like being able to work the course or at least watch the course to see how people's lines are and stuff, but um, I just chugged the Red Bull and I'm ready to rock. guys first lap was a 45.2 second lap 43.591 so it was definitely improved there i went hard watching the all track out there he's just getting it getting sideways and stuff so he inspired me to not be a um a scaredy cat and just send it so 
I'm going up here for my third lap. Hopefully we can get down into like the 43 fives, like lower, lower, like 43, four maybe. So um, yeah, here we go. I didn't um, raise or lower tire pressures this time. They're right on the edge at 32 pounds. We're gonna leave it at like 33, 34 and uh, send it. front of the bus and see what Bryce brings home. All right guys, so I just did my third lap. Hopefully she got the um, clip of it. Right here, Audi presents this icon right there came up real big on the dash when i was coming down it must have thought that i was about to be in a wreck or something because it like that that came on it tightened my seat belt it rolled my windows up and took like i had zero throttle response so i like super understeered and i was just looking at it in the light though it's like blinking red my windows are coming up my seat belt was like like choking me out like, what in the hell is going on like i don't understand what happened there that's never happened before i didn't hit a cone i didn't do anything i that i didn't do the last two laps so that's really weird um so i like restarted the car turned them all on and then off again just to i, I mean i don't know that that just really messed me up <laughs> it's upsetting we only get five runs and my third run there was just a total waste so get out of here check pressures um get out here and watch homeboy in the all track because he's throwing it down <laughs> Fourth lap, 43.704. I kind of hesitated out there, but free sense did pop up again, but not red. It popped up in yellow. And I don't understand why. Like, this didn't happen my first couple laps. So why is it happening now? I don't understand. I don't think it messed me up that time, but me looking down, it, it kind of like messed me up. No excuses though. Um, car like really honestly feels great besides the tires. These PS4S suck. Like everybody else in my room, I'm looking around, they're all on like some type of good auto, like Falcons or, you know, the RE71Rs or uh, RSRRs, something. These PS4Ss are not great. And even Kaylin Selman from the sideline, she's like, your tires are just, I mean, the whole time I'm there, I can barely like, yeah, it's just not good. Um, um, what was I about to say? camber need a little bit more camber up front for sure like i said we got it to 2.3 basically i need to get up closer to, to three but um otherwise i mean the car feels great the rear end is really holding things down especially like on launch you can really feel it and actually off the launch here it's spinning a little bit the, the surface here also isn't great and pair a bad surface with freaking all season tires um but i am i mean for having these tires i'm hanging with these guys, but like I, I could definitely shave off so much more time if I could stay tighter in the corners and um, yeah, basically stay tighter in the corners and whip the car a little bit quicker. Uh, yeah, I think mean, that's all I got, but I'm really happy. Like really, really happy. A little bit more camber, stick your tires and the car's gonna be balling. And yeah, 
just Ladies and gents, here's my times. Number one, 45, 43, 591. I think that's my best, yeah. 45, 6. That's the one where my pre-sense came on. That one was close. And then this one, I, my tires were just not having it. So, I mean, overall, the car did, like, really, really well. All the stuff in the rear end pretty much fixed every complaint I had with the drivetrain. Um... You know, it's so much tighter. You're not losing your alignment in the corners and everything. It's still, there is room for improvement in terms of all-wheel drive. We really want that Haldex tune, put a little bit more power towards the rear, and it's not going to disengage the Haldex when you brake or let off. Um, what else? A little more camber, and the number one thing we need is stickier tires. So I might have to, because um, I had a list of things I want to do in order, but these tires are really holding me back. Like, I really think I could get at least six tenths, seven tenths better time with just tires alone. These PS4Ss are not great. Uh, you guys could hear in the videos, I was like, the whole time my tires are squealing and I'm spinning the tires off the line. It doesn't help that the surface out here isn't great. And most of the events that I'll do this year will be at this venue. So, really need to get um, some RT660s or even just get another wheel and throw some slicks on it or something so I want to make that my priority rather than ordering this intercooler or um, the subframe and those are the top three things I want to get for this car subframe intercooler and a better tire um, they don't give us times here today we got to wait till they post it online because they don't have live timing so I'll put that at the end of this video just like I'll screenshot it or whatever but the car did great really happy it was a really fun day really fun course uh, making friends left and right watching i got a clip here of the the rs3 he was killing it uh did you get a, a clip of the all track all track man that guy's been racing for a while and he throws that all track around like crazy crazy and he's on the rt 660s as well and he put down some freaking good times very surprised at how well that car did a really good driver too so i don't know if i got anything else just really, really hate these tires. These tires would have, were just holding me back. But really, I mean, we came out here to test, make sure the rear end settings and camber and all that back there is set, and it is. Just uh, a Haldex tune in the rear end will, I think, be just good to go. Um, that's all I got. So we made this far. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know what the next video will be, but hopefully it's something exciting. Catch you in the football.